Yes, guys, you're watching the fanboy. Today we're ranking all nine Star Wars films. Now we are talking about the main nine: Solo, Rogue One, Star Wars Rebels, and all the in canon spin-offs and Legends books and everything are eliminated. Only the nine Skywalker saga we are focusing on. All right, so the ninth best or the worst best for me, the worst Star Wars movie is The Last Jedi for me. Did not like it at all. The treatment of Luke Skywalker was horrible. There was no hope in the movie whatsoever. And they're basically ripping Snoke off with Palpatine. And before you know anything about Snoke, he's dead. He's dead. So it's the one Star Wars movie I did not like. So that's why I said number nine. Um, number eight, The Force Awakens. Really good movie. I enjoyed it. I thought that there was a lot of good action. I really like Kylo Ren. Thought he's a good, good, good way to introduce Kylo Ren. I love the setting up of Rey. I just wish. The only problem I have with this movie is that I wish we um we learn more about how she's in touch in touch with the Force. We didn't learn anything about that really. Um, but otherwise than that, that's a really good movie. Really good. Set up Snoke. Kylo, Finn, Poe, Rey, BB-8, son, old Han Solo, Chewbacca, Leia, even an old Luke at the end. I did not like that Han died, though, but come on, I feel like that was kind of necessary for Ben's character. But yeah, good movie. Number seven, Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones is a good movie. Really enjoyed it. I love Anakin. They're setting up their start of Darth Vader. I know Revenge of the Sith is basically from Anakin to Vader. That's what the whole movie's about. But Attack of the Clone is setting Anakin's darkness up in him, he, learning about him, what he really feels for Obi-Wan. Count Dooku being really cool. Emperor Palpatine secretly disguised the Chancellor. Really good movie. Padme Amidala, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> really good movie. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Number six. You ready? It is. Number six is Phantom Menace. Again. Great movie. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really, really good. Phantom Menace. I love Darth Maul in it. That's probably the best in the movie, without a doubt. Even if you are a Jedi fan and a Sith hater, you gotta admit that Darth Maul is the best in the movie. I love both Jedi and Sith. So, for me, Darth Maul is the best in the movie. Qui-Gon Jinn. The saddest part is his death. I don't think it was necessary. Just yet, I think they could have kept him alive with Phantom Menace for Revenge of the Sith. Maybe I would have had Anakin kill him in Revenge of the Sith, or clones kill him during Order 66. Yeah. Anyways, that is um for me. That's number six. Number five. You ready? A New Hope. A New Hope was a great movie. It was the first Star Wars movie ever. It set up Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Leia. It's really what boosted. It's really what made Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. Without it, there'd be no. It's what. It's. What made Mark Hamill so notable, Harrison Ford notable, Carrie Fisher, this movie, Ian McDermott. Like, it's set, it set a new school for movies. And without a new hope, we wouldn't have any, this video wouldn't be possible because there'd be no Star Wars, nothing. Number four, The Rise of Skywalker. I liked Rise of Skywalker. I did. Great, best movie in the new trilogy, hands down. I love that, my favorite scene is that scene with Ray when she just like, Yeet with the lightsaber, and then Luke's just like, ah, 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 the Jedi's weapon deserves more respect. I'm a big Luke Skywalker fan. For those of you who don't know, I literally collect Luke Skywalker merchandise. I love Luke Skywalker. Favorite Star Wars character, I have the green Luke Skywalker saber. I have two Luke Skywalker green lightsabers. One, his one blue one, which is really Anakin's, but I love Luke Skywalker. He's my favorite character in all of Star Wars. I mean, I'm a big fan of him. That's why I didn't like Last Jedi, because of what they did with Luke. But yeah, I'm a big fan of him, so I really like that scene with Luke and Rey. I loved how we get to see Leia as a Jedi, because we get in-depth of that in the books. Rey actually, she is a Jedi in the books. She is one. We, we learn more about that in the books as well. Also, we get to see the saber she uses in the books, which was never really seen in the books, because we don't get to see what it looks like. To see it, so to see it on screen was great. I love the turn of Ben, the return of Palpatine was amazing. My favorite part in the movie, other than that Luke scene and Luke training Leia with archived Carrie Fisher and Mark Hamill, I also really like my scene with Harrison Ford on Ben. But my favorite, uh, something I loved, and it wasn't my favorite scene, it's just something I really liked. When Kylo turns to the light side and Kylo and Rey are fighting Palpatine, 
Kylo was using Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, who was his master at one point, and then Rey was using Leia's lightsaber, who was her master at one point. So the Ben and Rey are both honoring their masters by using their sabers to take down the enemy that they tried so hard to attack almost 30 years before in the original trilogy. So yeah, number three, Revenge of the Sith. This movie was amazing. You can't deny it was the best movie in the original trilogy, 100%. The turn of Anakin to Vader. Oh my god, I got goosebumps. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Anakin. I have the high ground. Anakin just becoming Anakin. Becoming Vader. Palpatine saying, you are now Darth Vader. And execute order 66. That's my best Palpatine impression, guys. Um, great movie. I loved it. It was really really enjoyable to watch. I could, I'd watch it on repeat. It's really good. The best character's gotta be Anakin Skywalker in that. Also, I love that scene with Yoda and Obi-Wan when they're fighting the clones, and we see them, Obi-Wan versus Anakin, Yoda versus Palpatine, it mirrors Master versus Master and Apprentice versus Apprentice. <coughs> That's why I really like it. Number two, The Empire Strikes Back. For me, The Empire Strikes Back is the perfect movie. It had zero flaws. That was one of the few movies. You know, there are a few movies um, that are considered the perfect movie. I know Jurassic Park is considered the perfect movie. Back to the Future. Empire Strikes Back is one of the few perfect movies. I could, I watched it again. Actually, just a few days ago for movie night with my family. I was trying to see. Okay, let's see if there's a mistake in this movie. Because if there is, um, I was just signing my list for my YouTube video. So I was watching and I thought, okay. I thought to myself. Let's see if there's any flaws in the movie so I know where to put on the video. There was zero flaws. I couldn't find a single flaw. It's perfect. The relationship between Han and Leia, they finally met, they love each other. Luke Skywalker and his journey to become a light uh, a Jedi. Introduction of Yoda. Darth Maul, I, sorry, not Darth Maul, Darth Vader saying, I am your father. Introduction of Palpatine. It was, there was nothing wrong with this movie. It was 100% Rotten Tomatoes. If you put, if you release Empire Strikes Back today, 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, I bet. Now, number one, with all that said about Empire Strikes Back, it is not my number one. My number one is Return of the Jedi. And I know, I know, um, um, this is actually me biased here. This is the first time you'll ever see me biased on the channel. I like Return of the Jedi because I love Luke in that. Don't know what to tell you. I love Luke. The black world, my favorite figure it's Luke Skywalker in the black robes with the green lightsaber. The best. The best. <laughs> wow. We have one of the best franchises in the world to watch. Star Wars. Amazing. We love Star Wars so much. I know the saga, the Skywalker saga is ended, but I am still excited to see the new trilogy that Ryan Johnson is writing. Not connected to the Skywalkers, but it'll still be good. May the Force be with you, everyone. May the Force be with you.